Hey guys, Minish Cap one here. Gonna be playing some Proxy Singe here in the top lane against a Shen in Diamond 2 Elo. This is one of my Proxy primary accounts, which means it's an account that I'm trying to just like get to uh, high Elo playing like mostly Proxy. And by high Elo, I mean that my end goal with this account is like Master Tier or maybe even Grand Master Tier. Uh, just depends on how effective it is. Proxying as you get higher Elo is a little bit harder, but I think that as time is going on and I'm playing more and more of this, I'm like learning better how to actually play it properly. I think that Echo is there, gotta be careful. But um, the runes that we're taking here is uh, Phase Rush, Celerity, Nimbus Cloak, Water Walking, uh, Free Boots, and Minion Dematerializer. So the purpose of this is I'm gonna be actually rushing a Bomby Cinder and using the Bomby Cinder to get an instantaneous Phase Rush proc with just Poison and Fling. So watch out for that, he wants to poke me a little bit here. Hmm. Maybe killable, actually. Nah, not worth it. Um, so normally the way that you proc phase rush on Singed is you... You get your poison on, and you fling, and then you auto attack. Or you have your poison on, you put W down, and then you fling. Uh, either one of those ways that you do it, you lose a lot of, like, movement. Because you're spending a lot of time either stopping and putting W down, or stopping and auto attacking after you fling. Whereas with Bomby Cinder, you don't have to worry about losing movement because all you're doing is just poisoning and flinging, and then you immediately get your uh, your Phase Rush proc because you will the damage from Phase Rush will help proc it on the very first uh, very first uh, fling, and you'll you'll see the difference. Like so, that's basically what it what it's like to um, use Phase Rush or sorry to try and use Phase Rush. You, you'll fling the enemy champion and then auto attack after after you fling. And Singe, he has like a wait time before he can start moving again. And so the purpose of this build is to just like completely avoid that wait time where you can just keep running and keep running and keep running. Because my, I guess, theory on Singe is that if you're not running, then you're not doing what you need to be doing because you're standing, in, you're standing still. Maybe TP on this, if I can get a... Got him, boys. Let's go. Big TP. <laughs> oh, man. Hold on. I'm going to... Is that a cannon wave? It is. I'm going to take Fizz's cannon. He might not enjoy that very much. But that's my compensation. Sorry, bud. <laughs> it's okay. It's a second cannon. He's fine. But my my theory on Singed is that... um. <laughs> oh, God. I'm such a bad teammate. I didn't think he would die. I'm so, I'm so sorry, Fizz. I feel like a jerk now. <laughs> but my theory, uh, I guess what I was saying is my theory on Singe is that if you're not running, then you're not able, like you're just taking too much damage. If you stay in in raw melee range of any other champion, you're just gonna like lose too much HP. This guy's doomed. We kill him here. Big goofling, let's go. Uh, if you're not moving, then you are not getting the optimal DPS on Sin because you're just taking too much damage in. Oh shit, here we go. Too much damage in raw melee range. I'm gonna wait for fling and see if I can get away from this guy. Damn. Okay, hold on. I'm good here, I think. Oh my god! No! <laughs> Oh, I was so close to getting away. Maybe Fizz can go huge here. Wait, he killed, he gets him? Nice! Oh my god, Fizz, you're beast. I troll I, I trolled Fizz and he's actually just coming through hardcore for me right now. I don't want this. I want another Ruby Crystal. Run, buddy, you got this. Run! Yes! You're a god. We gotta hype him up. We we gotta hype him up because he just salvaged our play. Yeah, sometimes whenever your teammates are tilted, you have to you have to kind of hype them up a little bit to make sure that they don't want to quit the game. But that's the instant phase rush proc right there.
where basically all you have to do is walk up and fling, and you get your phase rush. So we're going to spend all three Dematerializers on cannons here, because we're not going to have a whole lot of AP, so the Dematerializers will be nice to, uh... DPS the cannon. And then the nice part about this, actually, is I can actually continue DPSing the wave while I am not even in melee range of it. Or DPSing champions too while I'm not in melee range of them, because the Bomby Sender range is actually quite large. It's it's bigger than your fling range, and it's bigger than the poison range on top of your model, so you can walk up to people and, and like start DPSing them before before your poison even touches them. So really nice. The uh, Bomby Cinder and Sunfire proc does scale with your with your maximum health. Which means that Singe entire build is actually really good for it, because every single item that you buy normally on Singe does give HP. A few exceptions, like Zanyas and stuff like that, but quite nice overall. So we have Water Walking, so I can actually go back around this tower here and proxy the next wave as well. I see Echo, but he doesn't see me. I was out of his vision range. So I'll just go back here and proxy this wave. When you are proxying into... Uh, into a wave with Bomby Sender, you can kind of stack them up like this and you get a lot of extra DPS on the wave through Bombies. Nice, good job Fizz. We're gonna hype him up, we're gonna hype him up. <laughs> we, sometimes you have to be a hype beast for your team. Okay, there's an Echo still here, but he's only level 5, so I'm gonna try and keep proxying here. I also can use Phase Rush if he decides to go aggro on me, but we should be fine here. Okay, there's a Shen. A uh, phase rush, pop ghost, run away. Shen misses a lot of minions for that, and he's already behind on minions. I'm already 20 mi uh, minions above him. And we are out. We're good to go, boys. Make sure that my team knows that he is, uh, that he has his ultimate. Can I actually finish the full... I cannot finish this yet, but... I think someone in my chat ran the math on how much value you actually can get out of Sunfire Cape on Singed. Now, I'm not fully convinced that it is a item that you can buy every game, but the number that he ran was that Sunfire Cape's DPS is equivalent to having 102 additional AP on Singed, which uh, is kind of, or sorry, not 102 additional, just 102 total. Because the more AP you have on Singed, this actually has uh, good scaling, you'll, you'll get more damage, obviously, but... Um, if you, imagine if you just had like a Rylize and then your your plus 18 stat shards is what the damage of Sunfire Cape is supposed to be equivalent to. Yeah, that's really weird. My phase rush didn't proc there. Maybe I didn't get him in poison. But it proc'd every other time. Very curious why that happened. Let's try again when I have uh, bombies. Wait, what's going on? Okay, it proc that time all of a sudden. Maybe it's maybe it's bugging out a little bit. Because it was working earlier. We'll see how this goes. Not worried about this guy. Have a potion here. Oh shit. Yeah, when he's following, you have to be suspicious of the enemy jungler being there. But he is not currently following. Okay, if he's gonna try and hold the wave. See if I can stop him. Punish him here for trying to hold the wave. Okay, I can maybe even dive him here now. Gotta wait and see. Oh, my phase, or my phase rush might have been on cooldown, I guess, from earlier. Yeah, we're bullying this guy quite hard, actually. Pop the phase rush, run away. Lee Sin can probably come dive this guy if he wants to. Oh, he wants to. Let's go. Get him, Lee. Get him, Lee. I believe in you. Nice. I got the assist on that, too. Wait, this is actually crazy. I can... I can repeatedly just tower dive like that and run away from the tower shots because my phase rush is like a 15 second cooldown. Wait, this is crazy. And the damage is super noticeable. I'm actually just stomping this guy in CS. I'm like 40 CS up on this guy. And I'm about to have four plates as well. Wow. Four plates, almost 100, or sorry, almost a 50 CS lead. 
go ahead and back out here. I have a full Sunfire Cape. We're looking pretty crazy right now. And then I got my free boots as well, so I can, uh, I guess tabby this game. I'm actually not sure what boots to buy, but we'll sit on the tier ones for a while. Get my double AP items now. But I will have a absolutely crazy amount of damage, hopefully. I'm going to TP into this. Ooh, got him, boys. No, my ult was down. Oh, I'm sad. Shago can maybe just juke him out here. Oh, rip. The Galio walked down. Wait. Oh, he went the other way. Go, Shaco, go. Oh, she missed. <laughs> no way. <laughs> what a god. We got to hype him up for that one. Maybe Merc Treads because the uh, Echo is kind of fed and the Twitch is kind of behind. But I can see Merc Treads potentially being good here. If I had ultimate there, though, I, I do think i probably just kill everybody because I have so much HP with the Sunfire Cape Rush. We have almost 1,600 HP. Nice turn. That was super good by the Fizz. Oh, wait, rip. That's okay, that's okay, that's okay. No big deal. I will shove this next wave and try and get Tower First Blood here because the Shen's TP should still be down, I think. If they get Dragon on us, it's no big deal. We already have one Dragon. This would be pretty crazy with Demolish now that I think about it. What is the cooldown on Sunfire Cape's proc? 12 seconds, okay. Damn, Shen had TP, that's unfortunate. So grab this. Don't think he's strong enough to hold this wave. Decent chunk of damage there. Yeah, I probably will have to go Mark Treads for the uh, Echo. Trying to watch that phase rush cooldown, make sure I always am able to uh, run away with it. Yeah, that range on Sunfire is actually quite nice when, the, when you're in the middle of a wave. Leeson should be coming now, so we'll get Tower First Blood. The Shen got poked pretty hard there. I'll pop both my potions here. And if he stays, we can potentially even Tower Dive him. Oh no, almost had him. That's okay, we get Tower First Blood. Right, I'm not afraid of the Echo. We will definitely out carry that guy. We got the cannon. Let's go do uh, Rift Herald for that. Should be able to get this pretty easily with Lee Sin. Unfortunately, I can't proc the uh, the Phase Rush, or sorry, not the Phase Rush, the Sunfire Cape on Herald. But we can DPS it quite hard because um, Sunfire Cape does 50% bonus damage to minions and monsters. Which means we melt it. I want that. Oh, I didn't get it. I did get it. Nice. No, he got it. Rip. All right, all good, all good. We got Rylize now. And then I'll go Merc Treads into Leandries as my item after that. Or sorry, we got Rylize and then Merc Treads into Leandries. Yeah, that's what I meant. I saw Leandries pop up, pop up and I was like, do I click on that? 200 IQ. All right, good job, bot lane. Can they kill her too? Nice, good job, team. Oh, don't group up, don't group up. Oh, he missed the, oh, he missed the ult. Echo missed the ult, let's go. Nice, good job, team, that was awesome. Oh my God, that fling damage is crazy. Holy crap, how much is that actually doing? So we get, um, 160 plus uh, 7% plus 36 plus 29, 
from the Sunfire Cape, which is actually... Wow, that adds up really fast, actually. Quite a bit of damage. Math is hard for me. <laughs> but, singed main. Math is hard for me, but... All I know is that the numbers are big, so damage is high. That's all you gotta know. Oh, I'm not afraid. Let them gank me. I'm not afraid at all. I kind of want them to gank me. Yeah, we are just bullying this Shen right now. I see Echo off to the right. I gotta make sure I dodge his uh, his stun. That is definitely one way to die in League of Legends, huh? Okay, Galio's coming down. We can DPS the tower, though. Not afraid of him. Let's walk up there and help the team. Nope, I'm gonna stay top and grab the uh, cannon here, hopefully. Nice. Then we will get a second charge, maybe? No, there's a Twitch. I gotta back up. Gotta back up. Oh no! Someone exhausted me. Yeah, look at that. Uh, holy shit! Look at that damage, though. That's quite a bit, quite a bit. Run, Lee! Oh no, I gotta keep running. Okay, so Shen Flash Taunt is down. They might get Dragon here, but we do get Bot Tower for it. Yeah, I gotta run. If I can get one more Creep Wave, I can finish uh, Haunting Guys, which will be really helpful versus that team. They have like they have like three tanky champions. The I guess Echo's not tanky, but he does. You do fight him for a long time, so Haunting Guys gets good value. Grab that, and I back out. If this crab is up, I can probably get that too. It isn't. Oh, it is. Okay. That killed the ward. Nope. There's a Yumi here. Gotta run, boys. Gotta run. Water walking came in very clutch there to run away from the uh, Yumi Twitch. Damn, I wanted that crab. That's okay. As long as we play this carefully, we should be able to carry. Alright, I'm going to keep my eyes on the teleport. I, If the Shen pushes up, which he will, I think I have enough damage just to, to like overtime DPS him down. But he, he's going bottom just to try and split push and get a good ultimate off. If my team wants to siege, I want TP ward in mid. We can kill this guy if Fizz comes down. Aw, oh, run, Fizz, run. I have nothing to TP on. Hmm, I thought we were going on that. Oh my god, the teleport! That was insane! Oh my god! They gotta. Oh shit! The DPS! It's massive! Look at this! <laughs> what is going on? The phase rush is actually crazy right now. The phase rush, the Nimbus Cloak, just everything, man. This is crazy as hell. I had no idea that, like, Sunfire Rylize would deal this much damage. Because I guess it makes sense, though, because, like, Rylize traps them inside of the Sunfire Cape range basically forever. Unless they jump out of it. You can farm camps really easily with Sunfire Cape too. I'm enjoying this build. Quite nice. Oh, that is a ballsy Baron. Let's do it. I can stop the Galio here. I'm not afraid of him. He's just tanking damage from that Sunfire Cape, man. It's so good. It is so good. We gotta make sure we ward for the Echo. It could be behind here. 
Okay, he's not, he's not, he's not. We're good, he's down here. Super clean, Baron. We have Leandries now as well. So we'll be trapping them inside of Rylai's Leandries and Sunfire Cape damage. That is a triple dot. Because Sunfire Cape is a dot, Leandries is a dot, and Poison Trail is a dot. The triple dot damage singe. Okay, he flashed for that. Oh god. No! No! My hand was off the keyboard. I'm so sad. I couldn't fling the Echo or the Shen. <laughs> uh, playing Singed one-handed in Diamond 2. Feels good, man. Alright. We'll sell uh, Dark Seal, and I guess... Do I just get more HP? There's, there's a few different options I can go. I can just go Morello for the Echo, because the Echo Ultimate is considered to be a heal. But... No matter what item I get next, it's going to build out of a Ruby Crystal, so we just buy more HP. We have so much HP with this build, too. This is insane. My Sunfire Cape is now dealing 39 plus 47 on the fling. That is quite high. We should, uh... We can 5-man five... We can five man mid with Baron buff. Should be pretty easy. Because uh, Senna still has it, and Shaco still has it, I believe. But... Oh, uh, Fizz has it, too. That's good. We can contest them for the dragon as well. I think we can shove up. Don't know why Lee Sin's top. Just ignore the Shen. There's no big deal. We can we can siege up. He had to ult pretty much immediately. Oh, nice. We got him. You can go help my team here. Oh my god. No! He auto-attacked me. I thought it was out. The auto-attack chased me there. They might kill Twitch. Nice. They get Yumi too, though. Okay, that's worth it. That's worth it. The So what happened there, even though it looked like I got out... The Twitch had shot one more auto attack, and the auto attack was chasing me. And then it ended up killing me. I'm very sad. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, yeah, I think Morello would be pretty good here just for raw damage output. You can drag after the inhibitor. Kind of greedy to go for two. Alright, whatever, team. Good luck. I'm going to go to Dragon. Yeah, I think it's time for them to leave, though. Scared of the Twitch here. Run, boys, run! Oh, no, they're getting greedy. Wait, the Shaco is huge! What is going on? Hype him up, hype him up. <laughs> My team is just destroying them right now. That is crazy. Wait, and actually we do great damage to Dragon with the Sunfire Cape, Rylai's Leandris. Look at that. Not used to taking Dragon this quickly on Singed. Usually takes a pretty long time. We'll grab this, finish it up. Cool. I can go and start... Uh, I'll just TP in, actually. Nice, GG. Oh man, that was a really entertaining game. I, I enjoyed that a lot. That was fun. Uh, I, I love I love trying out new builds with Singe. It is it is just a, it is just a great time because you can do all sorts of like wacky shit that you just don't expect to work, and then all of a sudden you're doing all this insane like kiting and running, and that's basically Singe in a nutshell. You're kiting and you're running. <laughs> I'll give it to uh, give it to Shake. Oh no, I'll give it to Lee Sin. He ganked top lane, so he gets the honor. You gank my lane, I honor you. Keep that one in mind, guys. Alright, so we got 52 LP into Diamond 2 on this account. Not bad. I, I think I will be able to get, get this account into Master Tier, playing mostly proxy. That was that was a lot of fun. Uh, decent damage output. We proc'd Phase Rush 20 times with this build, which is quite nice. Um, 9, nine minute 45 second boots is really good, too. And then we were 4, 4, and 7. 
But yeah, you're you're with this build, I like it because like you're pretty slippery, you're pretty tanky. I mean, it's hard for them to kill you, and you can harass really well with the uh, bomby cinder prox in early game. But I hope you guys enjoyed that one. Um, like, comment, subscribe, whatever, and then I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.